Hello everyone, welcome to another video in the series of semantic kernel and in this video I will show you how we can use YAML file to read a prompt for us. So in my earlier videos I have already spoke about few things. So these are my four videos which I have already created and in these videos I have explained you how to get started with semantic kernel, how to read a prompt and then in the last one I explained you how you can use prompt template. So in continuation to that let's go ahead and try this one in which we will be using YAML file uh, to read the prompt and the relative parameters. So this time we will be using C sharp and I will show you how can you achieve the same thing using OpenAI as well as Azure OpenAI. So let's use this editor which is Visual Studio and in this Visual Studio editor I have already imported few packages I will quickly show you. So you can click on solution manage NuGet packages and under browse you can go ahead and search for semantic kernel YAML so this is the first package we need and the another one which we need is semantic kernel core this one Microsoft dot semantic kernel so this is the one and the another one which is YAML so you have to click on install and once it is installed you can easily import it in your class file using using so once this is done next thing is you need to define your keys somewhere so in my case I have just hard coded it here but you can put it in your key vault or even you can put it in some configuration file somewhere so you can keep that anywhere but I'm just putting it here so now let's go ahead and start creating our kernel so like I said kernel is the heart of the semantic kernel so this is the first thing which we are going to do so I'm going to create a kernel using kernel dot and the best part about using VS code is you will get IntelliSense you so you need not to type lot much of things rather it will just give you the suggestions based on the dot and we are good to go so now we are we are using chat completion endpoint so I would say add Azure open AI chat completion and in this we need to pass in all the required parameters so now what are the parameters do you want to pass you can just click on this small arrow here and just pass so if you are using Visual Studio for the very first time then it's definitely very useful but if you are already habitual of it or if you are used to it then it won't be a trouble going with this so now the first parameter we need to pass is the deployment name and here I will pass in my parameter as a model then we need to so here you can see on the top it is suggesting you what could be your next parameter so next I would take endpoint so endpoint would be my Azure endpoint then we need to define API key so I would say API key colon API key and then next thing is we need to call the build function uh, which is appearing over here so doing these three things will initialize our kernel now let's say instead of Azure OpenAI if you want to use OpenAI then you can just use the another class which is add OpenAI uh, chat completion so this is how you can just use whatever you want so let's continue with the Azure OpenAI one and the next thing we need is we are going to read something from the YAML so let me quickly walk you through the YAML file first so I have created a folder called plugins inside that I have created a folder YAML and this is the YAML file which I have created and what we are going to do is we are going to get the joke out of this Azure OpenAI riddle in fact so I'm giving some name to my YAML or this particular YAML file which is riddle then this is the template and in this template you need to define what are you expecting what is your actually the prompt so this is my prompt tell me a riddle on a given topic and this topic is nothing but the input from the user so user will just give some input and based on that we are expecting some riddles but we are saying don't tell the answer so when you are asking the riddle by default it will give you the riddle as well it's uh, as it as well as its answer so in this case I am saying don't tell me the answer just give me the riddle because I want to guess the answer then we need to define the template format which is semantic kernel in this case your description just write some description which can uniquely identify this particular YAML file then you need to define the input variable so in my case I have just one variable topic so I'm putting it against the name then some description about your variable what it signifies and then the output 
variable. So once this is defined, we are good to go ahead and use this YAML file. So the next thing is I will ask user to give me some input. So let's say I would say enter topic and user will give me some topic that I will read in my string input. So here you can either use where keyword or string, uh, string. it's completely on you. And then I'm saying console dot read line. Okay, so this will read the user input for me. Next thing is I need to read the settings from my YAML directory. So for that, I would say YAML DIR. And so this thing you need to just, uh, you it's not good to hard code it because there could be many YAML files in the same directory structure. So it is always good to go uh, with the methods which can extract the path for you. So now I'm saying path.combine because we are going to construct the path directory dot get current directory and let me put here then once we got the current directory we need to construct our folder structure so our folder structure is plugins then i have yaml folder inside that so this is what i'm writing it's always good to go with the proper casing the same casing which you have mentioned over there and then the YAML file name, actual file name. So my file name is riddle.yaml. So this is the thing which we need to do. Then next thing is we need to go ahead and read the content of this file. So I would say yaml.text. And here I will be calling asynchronous function, which is the file, um, file dot read all text async. So let's put the tab and it will do that for you. So this is the beauty. So you need not to write much of a code. Things will be auto generated for us. And once this is done, next thing is we need to construct the kernel function. So for the kernel function is nothing but the way how we used to uh, read prompt from the YAML file. So just say kernel function and I would just name it as YAML func kernel dot create function from prompt a uh, yaml so this is the one which we are going to use and it will take yaml text as the parameter so once this is done let's go ahead and create the arguments so arguments like we have already done it before lot many times we will be using kernel arguments class and inside this we need to pass in the parameter which we are using in our yaml file so I would just say topic and input because input is the variable in which we are reading from the user. Okay, so let's push it here so that it would look better. Here rather than colon, it should be comma. So this is how we construct our kernel arguments and the next thing is we need to uh, make a call to the function so for that I'm going to create a variable name response which is going to hold the response for us and then I would say await kernel dot invoke async invoke this one invoke async and here we need to pass in here you can see the parameters which it, uh, it is expecting so we'll provide yaml function as well as arguments so this is what we need to do and then simply we'll say console dot write line inside this we'll say response dot get value which is of type string and i think we are good to go Let's do console.readline so that we can stop the screen and read our responses. Let's save it. It is complaining something. So it looks like this name is already there. I will just rename it to something else. Let's make it arguments. And I think we are good to go. Let's run it. And it is asking me for 
topic so i would say let's have riddle on toys so it is asking i'm always hungry i must always be fed the finger i touch will soon turn red so what am i so this is what we were expecting because if you will look at the yaml file in which we completely uh, clearly mentioned that do not tell me the answer just tell me the riddle and that's the reason we are just getting the riddles riddle and not the answer so if you're expecting answer do not append this and it should give you both the riddle as well as the answer so that's how it is so if you if you will walk through this what we have done here so far is first of all we imported the, um, the required packages using the new git package manager then we constructed our yaml file in a proper format so make sure to take care of indentation very well otherwise it will not read your yaml file as expected then we constructed the kernel using the create builder uh, class uh, function and what it can do is it can just plug in your open ai or azure open ai or whatever llm it supports and once it is done and make sure that you are passing the respective parameters so when you're using open ai definitely you don't need this endpoint and all rather you may need org id so just make sure that you are furnishing these parameters very well then you need to ask for user input you need to read your yaml directly you need to extract the text out of uh, the yaml file and then construct the parameters based on what you are passing it into your yaml file so once these things are done it's just a matter of invoking the async call for that particular function kernel function which we have defined over here so that's how it is and do let me know in comments if you are facing any issues uh, performing this action thanks for watching